Hi guys, this is Amy Haven with your weekly horoscopes. So this week a lot of stuff is happening. We're moving into Virgo season and there is also an upcoming retrograde in Uranus on the 24th. And what else do we have? We have like so much going on. Um, the moon is also transiting through Leo, Cancer, and Virgo this week, which could bring in a reality check. So I'm going to read what all of these aspects mean for your sign, starting with Aries. And this is for the 22nd through the 28th. Um, learn to have patience with yourself, Aries, and to remember that slow and steady wins the race. You're not going to be a millionaire overnight, but your career is progressing. So just be patient. Taurus. Uh, you may have missed out on an opportunity this week, but you are getting a second chance. Think positively and focus on the future. And as far as uh, the retrograde in your sign on the 24th means you are going through a dramatic change of the next few months, which could be positive, but it could also feel a little icky. Uh, a lot of you want to break free from old patterns and some feelings of being stuck and literally move into a new you and change your life um, in a big way. So it's a positive thing that may just feel kind of scary. Gemini, Virgo season starts on the 23rd and has all the gems feeling a little sensitive and irritable. So stay away, try to stay away from the drama um, and just focus on romance because there's a lot of good signs for romance for a lot of you Geminis. Cancer, you have an important feeling on your mind. This week is the right time to finally express what you've been feeling to your partner or that certain person that you've been holding this information back from. Um, they won't change if they don't know what's on your mind. You literally have to learn to express yourself better, Cancers. A lot of you like to keep it all inside or talk to your friends about your frustrations, but you gotta learn how to just be vocal. Um, you may be feeling like gossiping on the, around the 27th, but try not to do so because karma is gonna get you and some people are gonna start talking about you. Leo, even though we are moving out of Leo season, you guys are gonna have a great week. Um, you're gonna be social and dynamic and you're gonna be bringing uh, your friends together and building uh, new acquaintances and partnerships and just sort of being your fun self. There may be, for some Leos, there may be um, an old friend, like a toxic person that you may be finally deciding to cut out of your life this week though as well. Virgo, focus on your future goals this week and keep a positive attitude. Um, you know, obviously we're going into Virgo season but your actions this week will set you up for the rest of the year. So just think really positively. Virgo season is gonna be great for Virgos, but you know, like set yourself up for success this week. Libra, between sensitive Virgo and Mercury entering your sign a few days later, you will be moving into a sentimentality mode. You'll be thinking with your heart instead of your head. And um, this is going to be great for you. Also with the um, Uranus retrograde, a lot of you will be exploring like a dark side of your sexuality. This doesn't necessarily mean like evil or hurting people. It just means you're going to accept yourself like with all of your, whether it be kinks or who you love, you're going to accept who you love, who you want to be physical with, and you're not going to judge yourself so harshly for it. Scorpio, um, new love opportunities are presenting themselves this week for Scorpios who are very attractive this week. Scorpios are also feeling the urge to give back to those who have helped them out emotionally or financially in the past. So it's a like very altruistic week for Scorpios. Sagittarius, uh, your focus is on money. Um, and a higher up may be prom promoting you because you Sagittarians really put in the work. You guys are very good workers. Uh, but beware of the 28th of this week as communication is gonna be off and there might be a little drama within your relationship. Um, 
So just try to avoid any of those pitfalls. Capricorn, new ideas and experiences are your focus this week. You are learning to let go of the past and have just be creative with some new ideas uh, within your artistic side, uh, just new activities. V when Venus enters your house of inti intimacy and opposes Saturn on the 28th, you may be breaking up with your partners, Capricorn. Um, either breaking up or just having, you know, a hard discussion because someone is disappointing you. They're not putting in the effort that you are. Okay, Aquarius, you'll be feeling a little sensitive this week. Although you want to bunker down and hide, a, a small trip will actually be really good for you guys and just to get out of your environment, usual space. Um, the retrograde has Aquarians healing their generational trauma and patterns. And po some of you are possibly moving even um, to a new house. Pisces, keep cool um, and go deeper in your relationships is really the focus this week. Uh, August 27th on the new moon, some of you may even be proposing or just asking someone to be your, you know, monogamous partner, just stepping into a deeper level and it's really happy and good for you. So it'll be a good week, Pisces. And that's it. So I hope everyone has a lovely week. Till next time.